new age tankless or the old reliable tank? Which one's right for you? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going over one of my most requested topics, traditional tank versus tankless. This is gonna be only high level info, I'm not gonna go into different brands or different types of tanks, like electric, power vented. This is purely to help you decide between a tank or a tankless system. First, we're gonna go over how each one of them works. Then we're gonna go over the pros and cons of each because like a lot of things in life, the answer is just not very simple. I'm Al Rent, been in the trade for 15 years. And as always, I am here with Maya, the HVAC dog. There's also a couple of HVAC cats running around here. This channel is all about educating homeowners and technicians. So if that's something you seems like you might be into, like the video and subscribe. Okay, so you get home from a long day of whatever the hell it may be that you do. Maybe you're out there working hard, bringing home the bacon. Maybe you don't do very much at all. That's not really my business. Either way, everyone loves a good hot shower. So you turn on the tap and out comes nice, hot, steamy water, ready to wash away the day's grime and the shame. So much shame. So. How does this wizardry work? Let's start with the tank. It's very basic. Your tank is piped into your plumbing system, which fills the tank with cold water. The thermostat on the tank will sense that you're asking for a certain temperature and the temperature in the tank has not yet reached that level. So it'll send a signal to the gas valve to send gas to the burners and a signal to the igniter to ignite that gas and combust and heat the water that's in the tank. And the burners are located at the bottom of the tank and it heats the water just like a pot of water on your stove. Once the water reaches that set temperature, the thermostat will sense that and turn off the burners. As you pull hot water from your tap, cold water will be reintroduced to replace the hot water that you pulled out. Because of that, the tank temperature will drop, the thermostat will sense that, turn the burners back on. And that's how it works, just an ongoing cycle. And that's it. But let's say you don't have a tank. Let's say you have a tankless system. And you say, what then, Elren? What then? What if I have a tankless system and I still wanna wash your shame off? Well, here's how that works. You turn on the hot water tap in your shower. In your mechanical room, cold water will start to enter the heater. A flame ignites and heats the two heat exchangers that are located in the heater, and the cold water will make its way through those heat exchangers. As the water makes its way through the heat exchangers, it's absorbing heat. The heater will also adjust the flame output, up or down, to make sure that the water coming out of that heater is what you asked for. So not too hot, not too cold, just the way you want. The water then leaves the heat exchanger, leaves the heater and makes its way to your tap or wherever you happen to be using hot water. Once you're done with that shower, the water leaves the unit, the flame turns off and the unit goes into standby mode. That's pretty much it. Both units have safeties, sensors, motors. Again, this is just high level info about how these heaters work. What kind of heater do you have? Comment below. So now for the reason you're actually here. Alrighty, you might say, in your infinite wisdom, which is indeed vast. Derivative dy equals three r squared dr over three, or r squared dr, or r d r r, har d har har. What should I buy? Well, like always, what I'm not gonna do is bombard you with information. I'm gonna break down what I care about with each unit as a technician. So I think I'll break this into categories, and the first category is going to be up front costs. And this one is pretty straightforward. A tank installed, and this is Canadian, goes anywhere from between 1500 and 2200 for a standard tank. Now that depends on your model, and I'm not talking about extra large tanks. I'm not talking about tanks that are piped into different systems. This is just a straightforward residential tank. They can be installed in, let's say, two hours, and there's minimal parts required. Tankless systems, on the other hand, start at about 3500 bucks, and depending on which bells and whistles you choose, can go up to five or 6000 They also require mounting, typically more venting, isolation valve, and are usually between four and six hours to install. So the upfront cost category goes to tanks. Next, we have convenience. Well, this one's easy. Gone are the days of yelling at your 15 year old son for taking hour and a half showers. What's he even doing in there? In fact, you can run a dishwasher, another shower, and warm the tub for your evening soap all at the same time without even missing a beat. Now that being said, it doesn't mean you're gonna have the water pressure to pull this off. This is a common issue I run into with customers, so be warned, the water is going to come out of the tap hot no matter what. But if you're running too many appliances at once, it's going to come out more of a trickle. A hot trickle, but a trickle. Now with the tank, once you're out of hot water, that's it. You're out of hot water and you got to wait the hour or two hours or whatever it happens to be to reheat the water in the tank. So without a doubt, a tankless system is a luxury item and for sure the most convenient money savings. This one might be a little bit controversial. Does a tankless system save energy? Yes. Does a tankless system save money? Not necessarily. Let me explain. When you have a tank, it is constantly trying to heat the water in the reservoir. 
Meaning you've got this big old tub of water and that tub of water has to stay the same temperature all day, all night. So that when you pull it from your tap, that's the temperature of water that you get. So to have your burners firing frequently, even when you're not using hot water, has a cost associated with it. Now the tankless doesn't need to do this. When you need it, it fires, and when you don't, it's off. Super simple. So, it seems simple, right? Less gas, less money, tankless saves you money. Well, not exactly. Once you factor in the upfront costs and you consider how efficient these new tanks have become, you actually end up more or less breaking even over the life of the unit. So this category, I'm calling it a tie. Will your monthly bill go down? Yes. Will it make up for the money you spent on the initial installation of the tankless system? I have my doubts. Okay, now we have water lag. This is something a lot of people do not consider. With the tank, the hot water is ready to go. You ask for hot water, and that tank delivers. But the tankless has some work to do every time you turn the handle on that tap. You don't get any hot water until the heat exchangers are properly warm, which can take up to a minute. Now, are there ways to mitigate this? Yes, you can add a storage tank. You can add a research pump, which will constantly keep hot water flowing through your pipes so that whenever you turn on the hot water, it's already ready at the tap, ready to go. The problem with doing that is you've got higher install costs and it requires more room. Hot water tank has a five to 10 second lag, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty good. So this category goes to tanks with the caveat that you can mitigate the problem with pumps and tanks. And finally, we have space. This one's easy, the tankless wins. I mean, there's just no way around that. You've got a tiny little boiler that just hangs on the wall, or you've got a big old tank that sits in your mechanical room. So if you've got a storage problem, a tankless system can really solve that problem. So what can you take away from this video other than that I'm hilarious and live with way too many animals? I'm gonna make this easy for you. It's about budget and space. If you have money to blow, a tankless is a very nice luxury item. And you can sit in a hot shower and contemplate your escape from your family for as long as you want. And you don't have to waste space for a tank. If you're not into the upfront costs and you have room to spare, just go for a tank. And that's it. If you got some value from this video, like, subscribe, share it if you think anybody can get some value from it. And that's it. Bye.